All right, guys, how's it going? So in my last video, which was quite a meh video, it's like a video about nothing, really. Some shitty, like, appointment, you know, assistant spotting director appointment that came out yesterday. It was that fucking boring. I didn't even touch on it yesterday. So why are you touching on it today, Chubbs? Well, because it's the morning. There's nothing else to fucking talk about. Yesterday, it was later in the day. I'm not going to change my plans to talk about that. It was a load of rubbish. Anyway, I touched on it. But at the end of that video, I then went into another topic and I thought, ooh, maybe I should do a video just about that, which this is this is what this video is about. Because the last video, people will be like, oh, that doesn't sound like so. This, the title of this video might sound a bit more interesting. I, I think I've explained myself. So anyway, yesterday I recorded a video about David Ornstein speaking on US television. And he was talking about the managerial situation at Liverpool Football Club. And he said a few things as follows. Roberto De Zerbi doesn't appear to be the right profile for Liverpool. Ruben Amaram is not necessarily a shoo-in for the job or the top option. Liverpool won't be afraid to be brave, to you know, think outside the box and the obvious candidates. Uh, Liverpool would like you know someone possibly with you know that would play high tempo football with energy, exciting, uh, an exciting brand of football. Someone who can connect with the supporters. Someone who can improve players. And a really important bit, that I, and I thought this was a little bit strange, and this is the reason I'm making the video, someone with a good track record when it comes to injuries and player availability. Now, you might argue, well, if you're playing high-tempo football, that's why players get fucking injured. But I didn't know if that was a bit of a dig at Jürgen. No, no paranoia, no, no tinfoil or out like that. But someone has said that to Ornstein, right, or else he wouldn't say it. Like everything else, you know, like someone who can connect with the supporters, high tempo, blah, blah, blah. But I've never heard something reference or, you know, like we're looking for a manager that doesn't, you know, maybe have as many injuries. So therefore, they're not happy maybe with the amount of injuries that have been happening at Liverpool, um, which as a football supporter, you, you might agree with that. and go, well, you know, we do have a few injuries. But I didn't know if that was a bit of a dig. Is it a bit of a dig? You know what I mean? Like... <clears throat> Some people might think that that's Michael Edwards saying there's too many fucking injuries under club. You know, do you see my point? Doesn't mean there's a drama or anything. Look, there's the boss there. Look, I love you again. Um, doesn't mean there is a drama or anything. But I just thought that after I'd made the video, I was like, what a strange thing to say. I don't know. I've never heard that before of you. I've never heard that before. That's it. That's the only reason I made the video, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, if, if you were Jurgen Klopp and you watched that interview, what would you think? You would go through those things, wouldn't you? Uh, and you'd go, yeah, tempo, energy, exciting brand of football. I can see why they would want to continue that. Someone who can connect with the supporters like I you know, did do. Uh, someone with a good track record when it comes to injuries and play. Well, we're trying to say that I've got a bad track record. Do you know what I mean? Am I, am I, am I shit stirring here? Tell me if I am. If, you, if I'm wrong, just tell me. But I just thought it was a bit... I thought it was a strange thing to say in an interview with itself. So that's it. Not else to say. If, if, you, if you appreciate the video, you can thumbs it up. If you don't, fuck yeah. Just trying to give you something, I Just give you something to think over. Mm. Jurgen Klopp's press conference this evening. Uh, tomorrow's game. Listen, I'm, I'm up for it, guys. Right? If we're not going to go into a game thinking we can win, what's the point of turning up? You know what I'm saying? I'm not naive. Fuck that shit, man. We're going in, right? It's fucking, it's fucking. Right, switching a bit.